can you confirm first minister uh, what plans the welsh government has uh, to invest in the potential of our ports and the coastline of west wales well, we have, of course, the, uh, the enterprise zone around the havens, but I did notice uh, that the Scottish Government no longer wishes to have the nuclear uh, submarine base at, at Fast Lane, uh, no, no longer wishes to house the, uh, the UK naval nuclear fleet. Can I say that there will be a, a more than a welcome for that fleet and those jobs in Milford Haven? Will the First Minister urgently clarify the, well, uh, the Welsh Government's efforts to attract uh, Trident nuclear missiles to Milford Haven? First Minister? So I refer the member to the answer I gave yesterday. Was well, the answer honest? you gave yesterday, First Minister, was that you welcomed uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction to Milford Haven. Can I ask you, was, was, that a, was that a Cabinet decision? Because I remember from my days as Chair of CND Cymru that a number Questions. of your Cabinet colleagues... Questions, not speeches. I, the, the question is, was it a Cabinet decision? Because many of your colleagues were members of CND and presumably still are. Has there been any consultation with the people of South West Wales? Has there been an assessment as to whether Milford Haven is a safe port to store nuclear weapons? Because there was an assessment <clears> in 1963, <throat> and at that time, with one oil re refinery, it was de de deemed unsafe and it was also claimed that the oil refinery would have to close. First Minister, will you now accept, quite simply, that oil, gas and nukes don't mix? Minister? Well, unless the member suggesting that nuclear missiles should be shot into the LNG terminal, uh, which is what he seems to be suggesting, I fail to understand his point. When it comes to 1963, I'll bow to his greater knowledge of that year than me, but I refer him once again to the answer I gave yesterday, which provides utter clarity. Can, can, I, can I ask, uh, First Minister, in, in terms of your, your bid to move Trident to Milford Haven, what risk assessment has been carried out by the Welsh Government of, of, of this proposal? What assessment of the suitability of, the, of Milford Haven has been, made, uh, uh, has been made? And what discussions have you had with the UK Government about this issue? As I said yesterday, the Scottish Government has said they do not want to have the nuclear base at Fars Lane, bearing that in mind. And if that base at some point in the future has to move, then it's only right that Wales is considered alongside England as a place for that base. And the creation of those jobs, something that uh, certainly is one party in this chamber seems to dismiss so lightly. Angela Burns. Thank you, Presiding Officer. First Minister, I would ask, is this policy or was it an off-the-cuff response to Vaughan Gethin? Has it been tested in Cabinet? And will you consult the people of Pembrokeshire if this were to come to pass? The Scottish Government do not wish to have a base in Scotland. That base will have to be moved, uh, regardless of whether Scotland's, uh, Scotland is a constitutional future. On that basis, the base would have to go to either England or Wales. It's only right then that consideration should be given at an appropriate stage to a base in Wales. Nick Ramsey. Uh, 